Good afternoon and welcome to the opening ceremony for the Access TT ICT Access Centers. I am Sharon Farrell, Senior Corporate Communications Officer with the Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation. Kindly stand for the playing of the national anthem. Singing of the national anthem. very much. Please be seated. Senator the Honorable Alison West, Minister of Public Administration and Digital Transformation. Senator the Honorable Hassel Bacchus, Minister in the Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation. Mrs. Cynthia Rolick Downs, CEO of Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago, Mr. Claudel McKellar, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Digital, Public Administration and Digital Transformation. Members of our viewing audience, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. And thank you for viewing us on Facebook and our social media platform. Today, we have the pleasure of opening our sixth ICT Access Center in the beautiful community of Karenage. To bring us welcome remarks, I will invite to the podium our permanent secretary, Mr. Claude McKellar, to bring our opening remarks. Mr. McKellar. Thank you, Madam Chair. Senator the Honorable Alison West, Minister of Public Administration and Digital Transformation, Senator the Honorable Hassel Bacchus, Minister in the Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation. Mrs. Cynthia Redock Downs, CEO, Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago. Members of the viewing audience, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a pleasure for me to welcome each of you to the opening of the Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation's sixth community-based ICT-enabled access center here in Karanach. The community-based ICT access center program, or access TT program, was developed out of the need to ensure that communities, and by extension, citizens in Trinidad and Tobago, have access to basic ICT infrastructure and online accessibility. Access TT centers are more than mere buildings or facilities. They represent opportunity and more correctly, limitless opportunity. The Access TT centers will provide quick access to information, training, and e-government services, allowing residents high-speed access to the internet, access to computers, printing, and scanning devices, 
web conferencing facilities, and access to government e-services via the TT Connect platform, all of which are provided in a comfortable and secure setting. ICTs are a major force for the development of a modern economy, particularly given the government's current thrust towards digital transformation and the creation of a digital Trinidad and Tobago. An unconnected population can threaten the success of the transformation effort. The access TT centers represent our efforts to ensure that we have a totally connected population. I must add that the access TT program is but one part of a wider portfolio of programs that the ministry has commenced to ensure that the government's digital agenda is efficiently and quickly executed. To the residents of Karanaj, this is the first day of the rest of your lives. We hope that you make as much use of the facility and opportunity as possible. Thank you. Thank you very much, P.S. As P.S. mentioned in his opening remarks, the, IC the ICT program is just one facet of the digital agenda. As we look at uh, a short clip uh, on the project overview, which will give us a little bit more background on Access TT and the digital transformation agenda. Access TT centers provide citizens easy and quick access to technology, information, training, and government e-services in underserved areas of Trinidad and Tobago. What we have done is created for you a space where you have access to free Wi-Fi, learning, government services, and everything that the ICT world offers in this space. So we are creating the centers to allow you to get easy access. You no longer have to travel to a government office. You no longer have to find somebody to borrow a device from. You no longer have to determine where can I get free Wi-Fi. All of it is available in spaces such as Carinage. We hope that you make full use of these centers as more of them will be commissioned over the coming months. They are part of the Ministry of Public Admin and Digital Transformation mandate under the National ICT Plan 2018-2022, the ICT Blueprint. The centers are also an integral part of the newly focused plan to digitally transform Trinidad and Tobago within the next two years. At each Access TT Center, these are the services for you. Cyber Cafe facilities, web conferencing facilities, ICT-enabled training, access to government e-services, printing and scanning facilities, and free bring-your-own-device internet access via a Wi-Fi launch and patio. The cyber cafes are furnished with state-of-the-art IT equipment, well-lit workstations, and comfortable seating arrangements for users of all ages. Citizens can access word processing documents, spreadsheets, presentations, or browse on their favorite websites. Government e-services are available to you via the TT Connect portal. The centers are also staffed by people who reside right here in the communities they serve, so they are also a source of employment in these areas. This is happening in a number of communities all over Trinidad and Tobago. And I think it is very important that the actual citizens who use these centers treat it as their own. It is supposed to be a source of pride and joy that you have within your own community for the, for the underprivileged, the people who don't have devices, the people who have devices but don't have internet, the people who have devices and internet and don't know how to use it, or if you just want to come and sit in a place where you have other like-minded people. The facilities inside and outside are geared for your service and they are of top-notch quality. The computers, the Wi-Fi devices that I've seen that are here to set up, the security to allow you to do what you need to do in safety and comfort, all of that is here and provided for you complements of the state. 
The goal is for all members of society in Trinidad and Tobago to have equal access to ICT and ICT-related content and services, as the value of ICTs in empowering individuals is appreciated, fostering creative innovations such as apps and developing solutions to some of today's most challenging problems. Welcome to Access TV. This was a production of the Office of the Prime Minister, Information Division. Come on, let's put our hands together for the Information Division. I do think it was an excellent clip, so thank you very much for the Ministry of Communication Information Division. As we move forward with the program, I would like to invite to the podium uh, Minister, in the Public, uh, Minister in the Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation. It is a long name. Um, Senator the Honorable Alison West, and to deliver uh, our feature address for this afternoon, Minister West. Uh. Thank you, Madam Chair, ladies and gentlemen, Minister in the Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation, Mr. Hassel Bacchus, Mrs. Cynthia Reddock Down, CEO of Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago, Mr. Claudia McKellar, PS. Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation, other invited guests, members of the press, viewing public, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation, let me take this opportunity to warmly welcome all parties present, both in person and virtually, to the formal opening of our Carinage Access TT Center. The Honourable Prime Minister was to be here with us this afternoon. I would like to apologize for his absence. He was unavoidably, um, we, were, we were deprived of his, of his um, presence unavoidably up to the end of cabinet today. He was looking forward to joining us, but something came up and that was not possible. As you may know, the global economy and social landscapes have changed significantly over the past year due to the severe impact of COVID-19 pandemic. And as I read this, I, it's amazing that it's almost a year already. The um, matters having started in um, China in November of last year. In fact, in 2020, several governments across the world have been forced to restructure their operations in order to provide a workable solution to providing continued access to and delivery of services to citizens in this difficult time. Trinidad and Tobago is no different <clears throat> from the rest of the world in this regard in that we face many of the same challenges that our international counterparts have encountered. Nevertheless, our government remains adamant in our resolve to continue addressing the needs of our citizens by leveraging the use of ICTs and through continued digital transformation. Technology is everywhere. Even before the pandemic hit us like a ton of bricks, the International Telecommunications Union estimated that at the end of 2019, that approximately 4.1 billion people across the world, that is approximately 53.6% of the global population, were using the internet. How much more pervasive is its use now with the requirements for social distancing, homeschool, working, and home schooling, and working, and distance learning and working in light of the fact that most borders are closed or allow for limited access. This is a clear indication that the internet and ICTs are inextricably linked with our lives. We have heard very often within recent times people talking about different things being the new normal. 
In most circumstances, I do not accept that. I look forward to the day in hopefully the not too distant future when we can congregate again without mask. When we can get together with our families, and in my case, with a huge family, that is not accommodating a five or 10 uh, maximum grouping. When we can get together with our friends, when we can go out for drinks, when we can go to the beach, when we can travel without restriction. I look forward to that day, and I hope it will be soon. However, the digital world is with us to stay. This is, in fact, the new normal. We are not going to revert post-COVID COVID, to a world where we have paper transactions, a world inundated by face-to-face -face activity, a world where we use cash and even face-to-face -face credit card transactions. We, the world has changed, and so must we. So those of us who are either unwilling or unable to accept that change and adopt the technology need to come on board and get comfortable with the technology. It is not only our future, it is in fact our present. God is embracing this movement towards technology and um, enhancement as an integral and pivotal part of our post-COVID recovery and a pillar of our future economic growth. You would have noticed the strides being made by different ministries to embrace the technology. We have digital, digitized records at the land and company registries. We have the U-turn system at the Ministry of Works and Transport. The judiciary is operating in an almost completely transformed e-system and holding virtual trials. The Ministry of Education is grappling with the need to teach children online. This is just the start of things to come. At the Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation, we have a mandate to introduce e-identities and digitalize the public service within the next two years. This will trigger the conversion to an e-world in Trinidad and Tobago. As citizens of this great land that we proudly call home, we need to embrace that fact and jump on board. And we at the Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation are determined to ensure that no one is left behind on our journey to digital transformation. This center at Carinage is testament to that fact. We have two main initiatives to ensure that underserved communities are brought into the tech world, TT Wi-Fi and Access TT. TT Wi-Fi is about expanding broadband coverage to remote areas to ensure that everyone has access to the internet. Access TT is one of government's main platforms for ensuring that there is sufficient focus placed on bridging the digital divide, specifically targeting citizens in underserved communities who lack access to the relevant ICT infrastructure. This center that you see before you in Karanash today is one of six centers that enable citizens to realize infinite possibilities through the availability of modern technology and training. They are well equipped with modern broadband and Wi-Fi services that allow users the opportunity to facilitate one-on-one -on -one and group learning, to access government services, to conduct research, and so much more. As the Ministry of Public Admin and Digital Transformation continues to work to meet the goals outlined as part of its strategic agenda, we stay particularly focused on the tenet of increasing human capacity. In other words, we want you, the residents of Carinage and environs, to fully utilize this center. We are committed to creating a public service that is citizen-centric, and we plan to do that using a digital platform. So I implore you all to take advantage of this opportunity to prepare and advance yourselves as we step into a digitalized government and a digitalized economy. 
I would like to take this opportunity to thank the members of my hardworking team, as well as the chair and staff of UDICOT for a job well done on the preparation of this center and on the organization of this launch today. The center is small, but comfortable and well appointed. I trust that those members of staff who have just thanked recognize that the reward for hard work is more hard work. There's a lot more to come. The public is excited about the tasks that we have been given, and we are committed to delivering. That requires us to all get on board. So thank you for your kind attention, and to the members of the community, remember that digital transformation starts with you. I thank you. Thank you very much, Minister West. Um, the rewards for hard work is more hard work. <laughs> yes, I like that. Um, as we move on with today's program, I would like to invite to the podium Mr. Dorian Dyer. Mr. Dyer has the task of bringing us our vote of thanks uh, and to thank our hardworking staff for, <laughs> for all the contribution. Mr. Dyer? Senator the Honorable Alison West, Minister of Public Administration and Digital Transformation. Senator the Honorable Hassel Bacchus, Minister in the Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation. Mr. Claudel McKellar, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation. Mrs. Cynthia Redock Down, CEO, Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago. Members of our viewing audiences, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I've been asked to perform the simple task of giving the vote of thanks today. Now, if anyone seated here or viewing has ever been asked to perform this task, you'll know that it is not a simple one. The vote of thanks is not just that part of the program that signifies its end, but the opportunity to acknowledge everyone who has, through their individual and collective efforts, made a project a success. And this project was certainly a case of interagency cooperation. Let me begin by first acknowledging the Community Development Division of the Ministry of Sport and Community Development. The Carinage Homework Facility where we are today is one of many community-based facilities managed by the Ministry, and it is through them that we were, we were able to secure such a prime location from which to serve the community. I must make special mention of Mr. Premnath Samlal, Supervisor 2, and his team, who really embraced this project and worked alongside the Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation to truly ensure the success of this project. We expect this relationship to continue. To our partners at iGovTT, who not only provided the technology for the center, but were instrumental in its setup and installation, we extend our heartfelt thanks. To the project management team at UDICOT, contractors and cadre of tradesmen, many of whom hail from this community, thank you. Who would think that a former holding cell, this facility was actually a police station at one point, could become a gateway to the world for the community today? Working with me on this project was a team of young, vibrant individuals from the ministry whose support ensured that the project not only stayed on track, but that I too remained focused. I wish therefore to acknowledge the Access TT project team. I will not call individual names, but I am truly thankful for your support. Job well done. Of course, no project can move without the right strategic level support and occasional gentle nudging. So I must offer our gratitude to our sitting minister, Senator the Honorable Alison West, and to our permanent secretary, Mr. Claudel McKellar, thank you. Thank you for your tireless intervention when we needed it, for keeping the team on track, and above all, for your faith in this team of young technocrats. 
As I close, I must acknowledge the contributions of our internal divisions, most mentionable corporate services, corporate communications, facilities, ICT services, and legal services, all of whom provided tremendous support along the way. And finally, to the community of Carinage and Environs, thank you for having us. We look forward to serving you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Dyer. And from the Corporate Communications Unit, you are most welcome. This brings us to the end of a very short program. But I ask for you all to stay around because we would like to do the official ribbon cutting and do a slight tour of the center. Um, to facilitate this, we will ask that we go back to the clip for those who would have missed it. And we ask Minister, the ministers and the permanent secretary, Ms. Cynthia, to join us downstairs as we cut the ribbon to open the, our sixth ICT access center. Thank you. <laughs> Access TT Centers provides citizens easy and quick access to technology, information, training, and government e-services in underserved areas of Trinidad and Tobago. What we have done is created for you a space where you have access to free Wi-Fi, learning, government services, and everything that the ICT world offers in this space. So we are creating the centers to allow you to get easy access. You no longer have to travel to a government office. You no longer have to find somebody to borrow a device from. You no longer have to determine where can I get free Wi-Fi. All of it is available in spaces such as Carinage. We hope that you make full use of these centers as more of them will be commissioned over the coming months. They are part of the Ministry of Public Admin and Digital Transformation mandate under the National ICT Plan 2018-2022, the ICT Blueprint. The centers are also an integral part of the newly focused plan to digitally transform Trinidad and Tobago within the next two years. At each Access TT Center, these are the services for you. Cyber Cafe facilities, web conferencing facilities, ICT-enabled training, access to government e-services, printing and scanning facilities, and free bring-your-own-device internet access via a Wi-Fi launch and patio. The cyber cafes are furnished with state-of-the-art IT equipment, well-lit workstations, and comfortable seating arrangements for users of all ages. Citizens can access word processing documents, spreadsheets, presentations, or browse on their favorite websites. Government e-services are available to you via the TT Connect portal. The centers are also staffed by people who reside right here in the communities they serve, so they are also a source of employment in these areas. This is happening in a number of communities all over Trinidad and Tobago. And I think it is very important that the actual citizens who use these centers treat it as their own. It is supposed to be a source of pride and joy that you have within your own community for the, for the underprivileged, the people who don't have devices, the people who have devices but don't have internet, the people who have devices and internet and don't know how to use it, or if you just want to come and sit in a place where you have other like-minded people. The facilities inside and outside are geared for your service and they are of top-notch quality. The computers, the Wi-Fi devices that I've seen that are here to set up, the security to allow you to do what you need to do in safety and comfort, all of that is here and provided for you, complement of the state. The goal is for all members of society in Trinidad and Tobago to have equal access to ICT and ICT-related content and services, as the value of ICTs in empowering individuals is appreciated, fostering creative innovations such as apps and developing solutions to some of today's most challenging problems. Welcome to Access TV. This was a production of the Office of the Prime Minister, Information Division.